Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing some more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets with my good friend Neville. I think Draco Malfoy might be behind his attacks. Oh man, you're a whole episode behind. You've no idea what's going on. Neville thinking he's adding something to the game when he's feckin' not. Alright, where do I have to be? I don't have a Ron or Hermione to point me in the right direction. As much as I complain about them, I don't know where to be if they don't tell me. Wait, I've already done this! I did this last episode! God! If it was anything else, I wouldn't even be that annoyed, but this challenge was feckin' annoying. That's right, I hope it hurt. Oh my god! Oh, I thought that killed me for a second. I'm surprised you can even get hit by those objects. I'm kinda impressed in a way. Oh, okay, fire doesn't affect me either. Bit of a weird day I'm having at school. Ah! Oh, suddenly fire affects me, huh? Honestly, there's a lot of big things happening because I light these candles. I feel like bringing a lighter around with me wouldn't be such a bad idea. Ooh, ah! And an extinguisher. Oh, you fecker! Incendio! Oh my god, you fecker! <laughs> See what I mean when I said it's an annoying class? Oh, for feck's sake. God damn it, I'm having no luck at all. 40 house points to Gryffindor. Oh, thank you, Professor. I should really get 80, because I did it twice, but... Okay, wait, did that student just disappear? After nearly getting burned to death in there, I have to go do Quidditch. Like, look at my health. The poor fecker. Out of my way, punks. I'm Harry Potter, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> Renaming myself to the boy who died any second now. Come on, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> for the guy who was brought on as a seeker for being amazing in his first year, he's not very amazing, is he? You need to show Ravenclaw how to play Quidditch. Judging from that performance, I don't see how I'm gonna do that. Welcome to what should be a really cracking match. You think so? I have a feeling it's gonna be the same as all the other matches for some reason, but hey, I could be wrong. That was a great catch by Ravenclaw. Was he talking about the guy who just got feckin' wrecked? I fly into a tower, you mean? Like, where are the beaters? These two bludgers are just following me around the place, and no one's trying to protect me. Like, what's the point in anyone else on the pitch? They've scored one each, and we've been on here like five minutes. Just taking a nasty knock there. Have I? The screen's black. All right, we've won. <laughs> oh, Ron's gonna be exhausted after that performance. I don't know about you, but I'm worn out just from cheering. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> He's like... Woo! Oh god, that took a lot out of me. <laughs> Alright, end the day. Worst day of my life. And I had to live most of it twice. That's like having a dream where you do your normal day's routine and then you wake up and realize it was all a dream and you have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> Slytherin is in the lead. I like how it plays that disappointing noise when you find that Slytherin's in the lead. I hope that disappointing noise is audible for everyone in that school there. <laughs> if anyone else is winning, there's like a celebration, but if Slytherin's winning, they're like, wah, wah, wah. Hey, Harry, what do you think of this? That's great, Ron. Just leave me fucking sleep for once. <laughs> What is up with this guy's sleeping schedule? I thought you were exhausted. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught him. Okay. <laughs> Harry's like, how much acid did I take? He's so tripped out. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. What? No! It was Hagrid, Ron. Like, why would Harry believe that? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. This random diary told him that a guy he's known for years just opened the Chamber of Secrets and he's like, this is definite proof. This empty book talked to me and told me so. It has to be true, Ron. Oh my god, he didn't spot me somehow. Okay, that works. Now I can just fly down to Hagrid's and I'm sorted. Perfect. Get back what? to your dormitory. Okay, just because I tried to sit on my broom, I immediately get caught. No one around. Place is completely empty. Now, sit on broom. Get back to your dormitory. Okay, that's a great system. Why didn't they just make Harry say like it's too risky to go on my broom at night or something like that? That's it, Hagrid. I'm here to turn you in. What the hell was that? <laughs> He's a complete ninja all of a sudden. Away, away to where? No, not the wizard prison. He seems really upset, but he looks just fine. He has no emotion. Lucius, I shall of course. Step aside. No! <laughs> Lucius must be really confused why these people are basically explaining what someone needs to do when they're just talking to him. <laughs> As if he wouldn't see that either. Lucius is like, right then, yeah, that was really weird, but yeah, let's go, I guess. Can I go into the Forbidden Forest? Will it let me? 
Oh my god, I'm still almost dead. I didn't even seek help after that Flitwick teacher tried to kill me. Please heal me. <laughs> Whatever's in here, just heal me. Oh, for feck's sake, another useless card. Oh, god damn it, I'm dead. There was good effort there of me just running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> But Harry has some leap of faith. <laughs> I hope for his sake there's something to break his fall. Is it Hagrid? Oh, I wish. Not if I could be that thick, I would be so happy. Then what did kill her? We shall not speak of it. Well, that kind of wasted my time then, didn't it? <laughs> I cannot deny my children fresh meat. Can't argue with that logic. Oh, God. I almost tried to commit suicide immediately. It's like no one can eat me except me <laughs> and immediately jump off. That spider has no idea what kind of an idiot he's dealing with. Oh, I thought jumping on one might kill it. I mean, you'd think it would. Well, oh, I couldn't even tell it was a hole. It was completely black. I'm not even aiming anymore. I'm just feckin' running and lighting everything on fire. I'll burn this whole forest down before I let those spiders eat me. Wait, this one's just sitting on me. What? This isn't very fair now, is it? What the hell? Like, I don't mean to be mean or anything, but they have a lot of time to move out of the way if they really wanted to. Oh, good. Good. They're dead. Look at all those angry spiders behind me. I should not be standing here. Wait, I didn't mean jump. I just meant maybe leave. Oh, there's candy in those piñatas. Oh, thank God he's dead, and thank God they made that really easy on me. Because I feel like that would have been tough. Oh my God, he's hyperventilating. Oh, here's Ron. Good thing that spider did nothing for an entire minute. <laughs> Otherwise, they could have just killed me. God, if Ron's normally exhausted, then imagine how tired he's going to be after he actually did something for once. Man, I just stopped for a few seconds, and I didn't realize how creepy it was that all the portraits are just whispering about you. I don't Ah, well. Oh my god! What the hell was that? <laughs> Alright, let's just move on. You gotta get to Quidditch after all. I can't believe only I have taken notice of these spiders, and that's only because Hagrid told me to. Like, there's so many of them. God help anyone who has a fear of them. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it with these bludgers that only focus me? And don't we have two people on the team dedicated to protecting our players? Like, what are they doing if they're not blocking these bludgers? <laughs> he laughs at me and then smacks into the Quidditch pole. Oh my god! I think I just killed Draco. Did I present Wait. the Quidditch Cup what? to Gryffindor? Oh. How? You were just kicked out of the school last night. <laughs> Lucius came over and specifically said, you're suspended, get out of here, you fecker. And you were like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> and then you show up on the Quidditch pitch the next day? Hermione wasn't at the match. Yeah, surprise, surprise. You're not the center of the universe, Harry. Stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway, I'm worn out. He's definitely up to something. There's no way this guy goes to bed at feckin' 1 p.m. every day. Like, I literally just woke up a while ago. Oh, and here he is again, the guy who was supposed to be suspended. They found her just like nearly headless Nick. But a lot happens when I sleep. A basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? As if that wasn't enough. And is there anything else new with you, Ron? Go on, tell me all the news. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Ron, don't look right in that camera. You're ruining my immersion. Pipes! The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? God, they're getting what through like about half the, the book in this bathroom? one conversation. They're proper junior detectives in the game. You know, it's kind of sexist in a way, because there's a girl's bathroom on the second floor. There's not a single boy's bathroom. Jesus, this whole thing just escalated so fast. And where's Lockhart? That's a pretty major part of the story. I am Lord Voldemort. The greatest sorcerer in the world! Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore! Whoa! Dumbledore's Got him! Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. No, he's not been driven out, man! Yeah, he's been here the past two nights! He's in the Great Hall, he's on the Quidditch pitch, he's feckin' everywhere, man. Harry's just cowering. He doesn't even realize he's being saved by Fox, he's just feckin' cowering. Alright, let's go- Hey, get out of the way that sword, I'm gonna destroy you now. Oh god. Wait, I'm using this sword as a wand? I don't understand. Excuse me, sir. Can you help me with my wand? I don't understand what I have to do. Alright, you know what? Kill me. I want to start again because I've already lost so much health. Why are you talking like this now? 
That was a weird lost screen. Oh, okay. I don't really know how that happened, but I'm winning. Oh, come on. If I was that ghost, I'd be all up in Harry's grill, like, waving in front of him and stuff to try and distract him so he can't properly fight. And, like, walking through him and all that crap. You know, just ghostly stuff. Aha, I defeated. Should have done more ghostly stuff, Tom. Oh, that's a lot more convenient. <laughs> I don't think Harry would have been smart enough to stab it in this game. Oh, look, it's Shrek's chamber behind me. As you can see, Harry, Hermione's made a complete recovery. Yeah, I see that. That was remarkably quick. Oh, look, there's Ginny. Anyway, I don't want to talk to her. Let's go in. She's already been through that traumatic experience. I imagine it'll just be whinging and stuff. I don't want to listen to it. I present the house cup to Slytherin. Yeah, no one cares. Boo. You may have won the cup, but look at the state of your face. Oh, thank God Hagrid is back. Had followed the spider. Oh, what's he doing? I thought he was taking off his pants there for a second. Oh, God, there he goes again. Let me get this pesky belt off. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it all had to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. It also helped that Lockhart, who's a major problem in the story, didn't appear. That helped the situation too. And as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. Except for all those times that I didn't. <laughs> all right, that's the end of the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate it as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.